So burn both ends so that they don't fray. You don't want it to fray. It won't look good. So get that get the ends nice and melted. Once it me starts to melt where it's almost going to drip, you set it on the table and smash the end with your lighter. To make it nice and flat. And then it slides through the buckles easier. We're doing a two color um, knot. If you're doing one color, you'll multiply your wrist diameter by 12. If you're doing two, you just do two pieces that you've multiplied by seven. So Aiden is doing two 49 inch pieces for his wristband. And then you're going to want to join to join two pieces together. You start your lighter and you hold both sides over it at the same time. Get it nice and hot and melted. When they're both about ready to drip, you're going to push them together and hold them there until they're dry or cooled. So you just smash the two melting ends together, hold them there until they're nice and cool and touch it after a while. Make sure it's it's nice and solid. So after you've joined your two pieces together, you're going to slide one of your buckle ends on you need to do this before you measure it. So you're going to slide that through. You've made those ends nice and flat so that it should slide through the little buckle opening nicely. Slide both through. You're going to slide it all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to loop it over the top. So you're going to loop it back over itself. So you loop it over then you pull it tight. You want that to be tight and you can also put the melted part off to the side if you can so that it doesn't scratch against your wrist. Um, makes it nicer, cleaner connection. Now you're going to wrap it around your wrist just to find out how long it needs to be. We know it's seven inches but here we want to wrap it around and mark it and you do that just you'll hold the place where it meets you'll pinch it with your fingers and then you're going to get a piece of twist tie I'll show you in a second how to get the twist ties off you'll mark the spot you'll twist it nice and tight so it doesn't slide out and then you'll want to try it and make sure that it's, it's really a good fit. That looks about right. So to get the twist tie off, come over here. There's a little cutter. You want to push, you need about an inch is all, inch and a half. You'll push it to the as close to the middle as possible and then you push down to cut it. Don't use the scissors to cut the twist ties. For the next buckle, you're going to want to go in the upper part um, of the buckle. The the opening that's closest to the teeth. It, it's, the reason why is it gives you more strength and it's also a wider opening to fit your um, paracord through. So you're going to want to slide that on. So you want to have it nice and flat so when you burn the ends if it's not sliding through nicely you can re-melt it. This one's a little bit wide you could actually trim the edges off with some scissors so it's narrower so if you want to trim that off. Try not to cut into the cord though, because if you fray the cord it won't look good. So just cut the melted plastic off, make it kind of to a point, so it will go through your buckle a little bit nicer. And you'll slide the other one through. If you haven't melted it and flattened it out nicely, it's going to be very difficult to get your paracord to this buckle. So, it's important that you do that step properly. So, it's 
It's not totally important that you have them going through in opposite directions, but it actually makes a nicer looking uh, bracelet if they're going through opposite directions. So you'll feed one through, and then you'll feed the other one through, and then you'll slide it down to where the twist tie is. It should look like this. When you're ready to start, you'll have the orange going through, one side going through that way, and then the other side coming up through. And then you'll have your buckle on this end. If it doesn't look like this, don't start doing your knot. Okay? So you're just going to keep doing that again. Orange, again, is over the top. The yellow comes up and through. And you pull it tight. So orange, you lay it across the two. Yellow is going to go over the top, up and through. And you just keep repeating that. We'll do a few more. Orange lays across the two. Yellow goes over the top of the orange, up, under, and through the hole. Pull it tight. And you should have orange in the middle and yellow on the borders. And that's about the time you'd probably want to take out the twist tie. So here's what it should look like. If there's anything that looks strange, you might want to unravel it. You can unravel. This looks good, though. The nice thing is you've got yellow on the outside and orange on the inside, and it's reversible. You've got it just the opposite on the other side. So you can change it up a little bit. So now you're going to, you're getting to the ending stages. I usually like to, to have a knot all the way down to the end, as far as I can go. So you still got the orange on the top, the yellow comes up through the bottom, um, through the loop. You get down to the bottom, and we'll show you how to cut off your loose ends. Okay, so now you're going to have some left over here. You want to trim that off, obviously. You want to cut it to pretty close to the inside there, where it comes out. Cut both sides. Then you're going to need the lighter again. So that's about where you want to cut them to. And then you'll burn those ends. So you'll burn them until they're nice and melty. You can, once you get it nice and melty, you can actually.